Good afternoon, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here in Chicago on Monday, October 13th, with some commentary here in the energy market. So let's get started. Crude prices under pressure here today. Uh, the December contract's off about 68 cents. Uh, we broke $85 a barrel. Uh, Brent's also quite a bit weaker, down about $1.83. Nat gas bucking the trend. That's up about 1.5%. We're up about 5.5%. Uh, sense right now. And the complex is weaker. Heat's off about a little over a penny and a half. And Arbob's down a little over a penny and a quarter right now. So generally, uh, energy prices seeing a weaker tone here this morning. Uh, you know, you take a look at kind of what's going on here. Well, you know, let's start here with last week here. We got the EIA data out on Wednesday. We saw an unusually large build in the stockpiles, a little bit of a surprise build. Uh, we've seen some weaker economic data coming out of Europe. Uh, and, you know, you, you kind of take a look at how that all plays out. And I think, you know, generally what traders are looking at is the potential for uh, a continual or maybe an extended global slowdown. Now, we did see some notable uh, uptick in oil imports coming out of China. And that's, I think, added a little bit of a support to the market here today. But overall, not too much. Equities markets has been, you know, last week and into this session here today has been a lot weaker. Dollar seems to be in a consolidation mode, may have reached a short term top possibly. Uh, we've seen it back off its high, consolidating here a little bit. And if that dollar breaks in a particular di uh, direction, that could give us a clue as to which way oil prices might head. Short-term technical indicators are very oversold, in my opinion. So, you know, traders, you should be watching for a potential uh, bounce possibly here in oil. Although I, I do think long-term views on oil are still pretty bearish, considering that you know, the recent OPEC meeting, uh, there was really no overall consensus there. It looks like they're still going to continue to pump, you know, a lot of oil out there. And I think that's going to help ultimately keep some pressure on oil. And you, know, you talk about OPEC, I mean, are they even a really a cartel anymore? You know, with the oil production that's been ramped up here in the States, coupled with their unwillingness to really kind of come together, uh, meaning OPEC members on production levels, you know, suggests to me that they might not play as large of a role as they once did. But Saudi Arabia has kind of taken the lead there, and they really feel comfortable uh, if oil prices still continue to fall. So there seems to be some disconnect there. And, and you know, you kind of couple it with everything that we have going on with the, you know, overall global picture where it does appear things might be slowing down, could still be in store for prices to move lower. But again, I think that there could be an opportunity here to the upside first uh, and then possibly see things drop off. So give me a call, shoot me an email, we can get into a little bit more detail. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.